Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so this past few weeks has been a blur. I didn't get much of AR related content as I was busy playing Elden Ring. I was like I have put in around 130 hours in the game and I finally got to complete it. Uh, so it was just about me exploring and admiring the amazing game. During this time I did get some work done. I was uh, inspired by the characters and AI used in Elden Ring and I wanted to learn how to develop them myself. The things which inspired me was the dragon uh, dragons used in the game, the behavior of the dragons, how threatening and amazing it feels to fight a dragon. So I started to develop a prototype using Unreal Engine 5. I used a third person template selecting C++. So this is a C++ project. Once the project is created, go to the Unreal Marketplace and search for Quadrapid Fantasy Creatures. You need to download this particular sample. Uh, it's free on the Marketplace. So add this to your project. Now we'll need to add the dragon character which is in the particular package into our game. So for this, create a folder and then create a C++ class. Let the base class be a, of character type. Let's name it dragon character. Once the class is created, go back to the engine. Now you need to create a blueprint class of actor type. Let's name it dragon underscore BP. Open the blueprint class. Let's change the parent class from actor to our created C++ class, which is dragon character. Let's compile and save this. Now go to the mesh component and in skeletal mesh, select the dragon skeleton mesh. Type dragon and you get the mountain dragon. You need to select that. Once that is done, we need to rotate the character. So let's first place it on the ground by moving it 90 units down and then rotate it to 90 degrees to the left. Save the class and close the blueprint class. So this will be the scale of the dragon in the level. Let's play this. It looks pretty good. Now we need to add animations to this character. So let's create a folder called animations. And then the first step is to create the animation blueprint. We will select the dragon skeleton and name it as dragon underscore animbp. This is our animation blueprint class. So we need to add the first state to this. So let's add a new state machine. And drop the pin to the result. Double click on the new state machine and then right click in this screen and add new state. Let's name it idle slash walk. Connect the entry pin to the idle slash walk slash run pin. Inside the idle slash walk slash run state, you need to create a blend space. 
So right click in the content folder, animation, select blend space 1D. Let's select the dragon skeleton for this and then name our file. The name is dragon movement underscore blend space. So we need to add any two animations which we need to blend. So let's choose the dragon idle state which is the idle breath and the dragon walk animation. So we need to blend between the idle and and then we'll choose the run state. So we need to idle between the uh, idle state, the walk state and the run state. So drag and drop the drag and movement blend space into the anim folder. Before this we need to, oh, we need to mention the horizontal axis name which is velocity and we need to change the maximum axis value to 600. So let's compile and save it. So this is a dragon anim blueprint and the idle walk run state has this particular blend space. So as velocity changes the animation changes from idle state to walking state to a running state. So this is a simple anim blueprint and simple character setup. Let's play the game and see whether the animation of the character changes. But before that we need to go to our uh, blueprint, dragon blueprint, select mesh and we need to change the anim class to our newly created animation class which is the dragon anim bp. So as you can see the animation changes and it's in as the velocity is zero it's in its idle state with breathing animation. So this is our basic setup of our character. In the next video let's look at how to drive the behavior of a AI. Thank you.